Hey, YouTube. So, before I go grab my kids from the school bus, I thought I would start a little video blog series of me going to the clinics this weekend. Um, I think it's mainly for my mental health. It's just something to take my mind off the fact that the last time I traveled to go to a clinic, my dad died. <laughs> Um, I've got a little PTSD, a little anxiety about this, and I know it's not a big deal, but I'm freaking out a little bit, to be honest. Um, I took a year off. I guess I took longer than a year off. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Courtney Moose. I teach barrel racing clinics. I run barrels. I train horses, and um, I coach a lot of people. And I'll coach a lot of people on like being brave. And let me tell you, I am not feeling so brave. <laughs> um, last June, I was teaching a clinic in South Dakota. I had actually been gone for a week teaching several clinics. That was just my stopping point. And I actually had one more private clinic to go. And I got the call when I was in Walmart with my kids that my dad had had a heart attack. I was staying with my friends, Jason and Tess. And before we could even get me on a flight home, my dad died. So now my brain feels like anytime it gets too far away from home, if something happens, I won't be able to get home in time. I know that is a lie that Satan has put it in my head to keep me from doing this because I really, really like to do it. And God made a way for this silly little thing to like turn into such a good little business. And it's grown so much guys. You have no idea. Um, and I know it's what I'm supposed to be doing, but you know that whole, that song, that fear is a liar. I'm going to have to blast that the whole trip because my brain's going a little crazy. And I know that we are not supposed to live in fear. So I'm going. <laughs> Both clinics sold out. I'm going to Marmaduke, Arkansas in West Plains, Missouri. They are sold out with waiting lists. I have been paid and I am showing up um, and I have, you know, God's divine protection and um, angels around me. I've declared it and I'm going to get there and nothing is going to happen to my home or my family while I'm gone. Period. It's just not. So, I hate to be Debbie Downer, but I thought I would video for, you know, transparency purposes. Because I think when you have a coach, like, we always act like we have our shit together, and we just don't. Um, we have, like, real life stuff that goes on, too. And so, this is going to be probably a four or five little video blog, basically me putting my therapy on camera and... A uh, little, little vulnerability, and maybe it'll help somebody. Maybe it won't. Who knows? Maybe it'll just help me later on watch it and be able to say that I did it, even though I was scared, because uh, I think it's okay to be scared, but do it anyway, right? And um, so I'm going to do it. We're going to have fun. These clinics are going to be successful. And... I'm going to make it home in one piece and nothing is going to happen while I'm gone. All the things, all the positive things are going to happen, but nothing bad. I declare it in Jesus name. And if you guys would say a prayer for me for safe travels and while I'm away from my kids and, and my husband and my animals here at the house, that they're also safe and healthy and protected from accident and evil and all the things. I would appreciate that so much. So this will be the last video that I cry.
<laughs> I will not cry for the rest of the series. Um, so don't think it's going to be like a depressing series or anything like that. I just, you know, how to get it out. Just how to get it out. Anyways, see you guys down the road.